Hello and welcome to Excel Junction. Sensitivity analysis, as the words suggest, helps us ascertain the impact of a change in the outcome, with changes in the data inputs. In Excel, this falls under the what-if analysis functions, of which the most used types are data table and goal seek. In this video, we'll see how to do sensitivity analysis with data table in Excel, and we'll go through this with the help of an example. Let's say you have a bicycle store and here's the sales for the previous month. Now, you want to analyze how changes in the price and sales volume affect the profitability of this store, so that you can adjust your sales strategy for an optimum performance. To do sensitivity analysis with data table in Excel, let us first complete the profit and loss account table here. In cell C11, we need to calculate the revenue, so let's multiply the bicycle sales volume with the price per unit. Type the formula as equal to, cell C3, multiplied by C4. Then in cell C12, we need to calculate the cost of sales, so multiply volume with the cost per unit. Type the formula as equal to, cell C3, multiplied by cell C5. Next in cell C13, we'll calculate the gross profit, which is nothing but the revenue minus the cost of sales. So type the formula as equal to, cell C11, minus C12. Next, in cell C14, we need to calculate the selling, general, and administrative expenses, for which we have to add up the store rent, employee cost and other expenses. Type equal to cell C6, plus C7, plus C8. In cell C15, we have to calculate the operating profit, which basically is the SG and A expenses reduced from the gross profit. So let's type the formula as, equal to cell C13, minus C14. Please note here, that the gross profit is completely variable with respect to the number of units sold, implying higher the volume, higher will be the gross profit, and vice versa. Whereas, operating profit is not entirely variable, as it considers few cost elements, which are fixed in nature. Which is why, at a low sales volume, the store may incur losses, since it has fixed costs also to be taken care of. And this is perhaps, the reason why sensitivity analysis is immensely useful, since it considers the non-linearity in the output, that is the operational profitability. Now that our profit and loss account table is set, we need to prepare the sensitivity analysis table. I have already set up the table at my end and I'll take you through on how to set this up. We need to primarily focus on the range G4 through N11. The remaining part is largely formatting to make it appear neat and presentable. The link to download the practice file has been shared in the video description. Coming back on how to set up the table in range H4 through N4 Type the bicycle sales volumes, from 250 to 550 units, with an interval of 50 units. And in range G5, through G11, type the prices from 240 to $360, with an interval of $20. Next, in the cell G4, type the formula is equal to C15, linking the cell to the operating profit. Select the range G4 through N11 and click Data What if analysis Data table The data table dialog box will pop out, where, in the row input cell box, you have to specify the cell with bicycle sales volume which is cell C3 in this case. 
In the sensitivity table, the row input is the bicycle sales volume, whereas the column input is the price per bicycle. So, in the column input cell box, specify the cell with the bicycle price, which is cell C4 in this case, and then click the OK button. With this, the sensitivity analysis table is created. You can see how the profit changes when both sales volume and price change. For example, if you sell 350 cycles at price of $280 per cycle, the profit is zero, while if you can sell 450 cycles at price of $320, the profit increases to $24,000, which is more than double of the current profit. We can cross-verify the results of the sensitivity analysis. At the original price, that is, $300 per unit, if the quantity sold reduces from 400 to 350 units, the operating profit of the store will dip to $7,000, as per the analysis. So, let's change the sales volume to 350 units here, and see the impact on profit and loss account. Yes, it falls to $7,000. Taking another example, if the price increases, from $300 to $320, even at a lower volume, of say 350 units, the operating profit as per the analysis, shall be $14,000. So, let's increase the price to $320, and check the impact. Yes, the profit increases to $14,000. Please give a thumbs up, if you found this video useful. If you have any queries, do put it in the comments, and we'll be happy to address them. Thank you for watching.